How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Right here, we've got me as Edward Elric, and over here is my podcast co-host, Nick Connor, as Alphonse. That's right, I do have a podcast, we do have merch, this is not part of it, though. You can't get this hat, you'll never be able to get this hat, uh, because if you can't tell, the embroidery's not very good. But I thought this would be an appropriate hat to wear, considering we're watching Full Metal, uh, and I hate the way my hair looks right now. Oh, what, Danny? Why are you gonna wear merch that we can't buy? How is that fair? Well, guess what? Not only does my podcast, Otaku's Anonymous, have merch, but, uh... I do too. For those of you who have been around long enough to remember my Skate the Infinity reaction series, I've got a lovely little lasagna hoodie right here that you can purchase. I've also got boys, girls, and squirrels shirts and stickers. I've got whom's, huns, and non-binary excuse me shirts. Tons of shirts to tons of references I've made in the past, all on my merch site. The link to that will be in the description below. If I forget to do it, Feel free to yell at me on the Discord, and I will change that immediately. And also, if you do end up checking out the merch store, make sure you DM me on Instagram or Discord or comment below what other, like, phrases or references or whatever you'd like to see in merch form. And now, on the episode. What the hell is happening to me? Why am I seeing these things? They keep clawing at the inside of my skull! Why is Greed the first humunculus to ever develop a conscience? I know it's because Ling is in his head, making him care about stuff, but has no other humunculus host ever been like, Hey, uh, this sucks. Is it because Ling willingly let Greed take him over, so Ling has a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to influencing him? I just fucking stabbed him in the face. Did Greed not just get stabbed right in the face there? Also, things are not looking great for Ling here. Bradley's already killed one Greed this month. I can't imagine a second one's gonna be much harder. <laughs> I love when this show pulls out the good animation literally out of nowhere. Like, with no build-up at all. They're just like, Alright everybody, great work on today's episode. Hey, how about tomorrow? We go absolutely fucking ham for no reason. Yeah? Yeah? Sound like a good plan? Like, you kidding me? Bradley just changed art styles mid-swing. They're going so hard right now. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that is the downside to your power being swords. What are you gonna do when you run out of swords, Bradley? Imagine how crazy this dude would be if he had an actual power. Oh, Olivier, it's been years since we've last seen one another and that's all you have to say to me. You're doing great, Chris Sabat. Never change. I mean, what? That's Chris Sabat? I, oh, gee, I thought that was a genuine, real old man. Olivier? I didn't know you had planned to visit. Oh, Alex, perfect timing! Oh? Engage your sister in combat. Has Chris ever interacted with an actual elderly person? Oh, yes, Alexander. Fight your sister, please. I've grown so wary. <clears throat> How can you treat father with such insolence? For shame. You've given me no choice! He did that? in such a sexy way. I knew it was coming, and I still wasn't prepared for that back reveal. A three-hour training seminar couldn't have prepared me for that back reveal. Zero chance Alexander loses his fight. This man is ginormous. No! No! He is frozen! No. Oh, never mind, he's literally crying. Statues seem the most fitting. Large and solid statues. Well, in that case, I want a statue too, then. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a weird bit. Just Alexander getting ravaged while the rest of his family prepares for a vacation. Like, what is this ridiculous family? How are they so rich and powerful? What's their main export? Silliness? They hold the trademark for being goofy and that's why they're so rich? 
Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this shit. I forgot this 10 year old girl is just straight up walking to another country. She's just walking to another country with one of the most powerful beings in the world inside of a glass jar. And where are you headed, young lady? <laughs> You're walking straight towards the edge of town. Is this 10 year old about to get shaken down by six grown men? Bunch of seven foot tall coal miners just rolled up on this girl like, Yeah, we don't take kindly to your folk around these parts. Your folk, of course, being short. Across the desert? Uh -huh. Wait, you mean you're gonna cross the desert all by yourself? Yeah. Uh. Jesus, the whole town's come together just to kick this girl's ass. Boys, we got ourselves a short one. Get your kicking boots ready. Let's help her out. Hand over any extra food. <laughs> wow, okay, I wildly misread this situation. What's your emperor gonna think when you hand over a half-dead homunculus? I doubt it's going to do your clan much good. But you could go to Central. Hey! Don't leave the toddler alone with the manipulative super being. This is the craziest plot contrivance in the entire show. I can't believe nobody accompanied her on her way to Shing. Like what, now she's just gonna wander into Central alone? And do what, ask Bradley how to become immortal? And you're positive that your brother's here. Oh yeah, I know Al better than he knows himself. This is the only place he would be. He is so unbelievably wrong, it's not even funny. But to Ed's credit, how was he supposed to know that Al's in Lior? Because why would Al be in Lior? At least Ed's looking for him, though. That's more than Al's doing. <laughs> what crazy timing. What are the odds? This is the most convenient thing I've ever seen happen to somebody. And Ed is the least convenienced person I know. Oh, well, that did the trick. Thanks, Edward. You're too kind. It's amazing that you're not a giant fat ass. Ed, you can just say you're welcome. Just like, take the thank you. Why do you always have to push everyone away? Is it because you're scared? Scared of letting people get too close to you? Scared that if they get the chance to know the real you, they won't like what they see? And knowing deep down that the price of keeping your friends safe means living a life of cold, empty loneliness? Or are you just an asshole? It's greed. He's starting to fight back. <laughs> Hey! No, 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 no! It is wild that Ling got to take over for this long. I kind of want Greed and Ling to become buddies. You know, I like that they almost kind of get along. It's like, weirdly wholesome. Well, see you later. Hey, aren't you gonna try to capture us? Do you want him to capture you? I like that Ed's just like, hey, uh, you know, since neither of us are doing anything right now, do you want to... You know, chase me around the yard a little bit? Chase you around the yard? What, do you want me to throw a ball for you to fetch too? Do you have balls? Why are you like this? What, fun? Weird. So weird. That's just not enough. Now, ruler of the world, <laughs> I could enjoy that. The whole world? I mean, he is greed, Ling. What did you expect? There's a reason the seven deadly sins aren't gluttony, wrath, lust, sloth, envy, pride, and taking only what you need and never asking for more. Oh my god, did I do it? That bit was so hard. Did I actually get all of them right? God, I hope so. I'm not doing it again. I'm greed, not Ling. It's too difficult to keep track of. I'll just call you Greeling from now on. No, you will Listen not! Listen to me! I certainly will not. What a disgusting name. I absolutely will not be calling him Greeling. I've been a follower ever since I became a dog of the military. I lost my pride a while back. Oh yeah, you lost your pride? I think Hawkeye would love to know how you managed to do that. What kind of chimeras are you? I'm part gorilla. I'm part lion. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. You see, I love that this greed's just, like, a likable guy. Just chatting up the chimeras, making them feel good about their transformations. He's the only homunculus who isn't constantly terrifying or, like, a dick. We're under attack! What? Is it drachma? We're not sure! How many of them are there? Just one! Just one? Are you sure? I just said I'm not sure! Are you still there? Point B, who's attacking? A housewife! Yo, why is she hype? Their teacher needs to be in like 20 more episodes than she's in. Her and Alexander are both criminally underutilized. Hello there, Rebecca. Your aim is looking fine, but not nearly as fine as your- <laughs> 
Whoa, whoa, whoa! Take it easy, old man! What do you think you're doing, General Grumman? <laughs> You've got to keep your guard up on the battlefield. Oh, yeah, you got to watch out on the battlefield. You never know when someone might sneak up and give your cheeks a sweet little caress. General Grumman? We're like General drumming that booty like a bongo. We have guests over right now who have never, like, experienced being in the house while I'm working. And I'm so not looking forward to that interaction when I'm done recording. But seriously, you're friends with Lieutenant Hawkeye, correct? But seriously, why did you just assault that woman? It's almost worse that he didn't, like, full-on smack her ass. Like, I hate that he just softly caressed it, like he was shaping the head of a snowman. Hey, Riza! Yoo-hoo! Over here! Long time no see, Rebecca. Oh, fucking work it, Riza! Riza Hawkeye? More like she's a fox, my guy. Look at her flawlessly pulling off that outfit. Especially considering that that outfit is a jacket over a button-up shirt over a dress. This girl is dressed for every occasion all at the same time. I'm waiting for my condition to stabilize, but I'm thinking about transferring back east. Really? You're still in the hospital? What, did you sign a 12-month lease? How are you not at least a little bit recovered by now? I wish I had a better going-away gift, but I'm sure you'll like this. Here you go. Only one per day, though. Only one cigarette per day, Havoc, just like the doctors recommend. You look like you could use one too, Colonel. No thanks. I'd better take off. Well, oh, trust me, you can use this one. Hmm? Damn, that was slick as fuck. Hawkeye's legs may be broken, but he still knows how to kick ass. That note better say something sick on it. Like, like subscribe to Danny's Patreon. You know, like he unrolls the cigarette and it's just got the full rundown of all the content on my Patreon on it. Exclusive reaction videos every month, access to my private Discord server, access to live streams I've recorded in the past and will record in the future, dozens of hours of content and at the very bottom of the little rolled up cigarette, there's an asterisk that says, also, it helps ensure that I'm able to keep putting out as much content as I do. Subscribing to the Patreon helps out a ton. There are a ton of you already subscribed to it, which is sick. Um, and a lot of you seem very happy with the content there, which makes me happy. I put out a poll very recently asking what else you guys want to see from the Patreon. Um, and a lot of you obviously said more content, so I'm going to be working on that in the near-ish future. I haven't decided what will go on it yet. Um, maybe Spy Family, since YouTube's not letting me do that anymore. But I don't know, I gotta figure it out. But all that to say, the Patreon will be improving very soon. But if getting extra content while helping out my channel a ton sounds great to you, make sure you check out the link to my Patreon in the description below. Like I said at the top of the video, I also have a podcast, I also have a gaming channel if you do want more content but can't afford Patreon. The links to both of those channels will be in the description below as well. And now, on to the next one. Is it just me, or does Winry look like she's 30 here? Is there a time skip? Winry looks so much older. Uh, it's gotten so dusty in here. This is not why I said she looks older! Don't you guys try and pin this on me! Don't you dare act like I was setting myself up to simp for Winry! How could I have known this would happen? Everyone calm down! Lower your guns! Hey, okay, Ed. Lower you wanna tell me what's first. going on here? Looks like a cautionary tale about guns. These two are definitely older. Did the time skip happen? Am I gonna see Al with a beard in the next scene? He's at the train station right now. He's with Miles. The train's gonna leave soon. You might be able to make it if you hurry. Oh my god, what the fuck? Ed's tall now? Why does Ed look like a grown-ass man? This dude looks ready to go file for car insurance. Nobody has said a damn thing about it. I'm surprised Ed isn't constantly forcing people to acknowledge that he's tall now. Like, this dude should be hiding shit in hard-to-reach shelves just to show off his new height. Hey, can someone grab my pocket watch? I think I left it up in the... <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Don't even worry about it. I got that. Let me just grab that because I'm tall now. Everybody's seeing how tall I am. Let me just get this because I'm tall. You make it sound like it's easy. This isn't the time to start doubting yourself, Ed! Listen to me! Uh, sorry, Winry, were you talking? I couldn't, uh, I couldn't hear you from all the way down there. You got, you gotta speak up, sweetheart! Oh, man. She's a peach. Sounds like she wants everything. My kind of girl. Sounds like you want a metal foot up your ass. Don't refer to Winry as any kind of fruit in front of Edward. 
All right, I'm still rooting for this relationship to work out. You want to bring back someone that you've lost. You might want money. Maybe you want women. Or you might want to protect the world. Greed loves pitching money and women to people. Out of all the homunculi, Greed is the most in love with his own gimmick. Even Lust wasn't as horny as Greed is. Greed may not be good, but it's not so bad either. You humans think greed is just for money and power. But it's also for sex. Filthy, depraved sex. Why are you always so horny? I love wanting things. We're gonna stop them, Winry. And Al and I will be home before you know it. Have an apple pie waiting for us, okay? Gotta love Ed being incredibly sweet and misogynistic at the same time. Winry keeps being like, let me come, I can help. And Ed's just like, but if you do that, who'll stay here and make us pies? That's women's work, Winry, you know that. Oh, it's you guys. Yeah, the guys who you've kept here waiting. You want to tell us what took you so long? There's no time. Oh, but there's time for you to have a coffee and bun? You can't hit him with a there's no time to explain when you're literally having a sit-down lunch. And I want to make sure that it's incapable of ever doing so again. If you truly dream of changing the world, you must first be able to change yourself. No way this guy heard Scar. Scar was practically whispering. Anime love having scenes like this where a character interrupts another character's conversation happening like a mile away. I wish for once they would have the guy interrupt with something completely unrelated. I want to make sure a mistress never treats another race the way they treated mine. Lime is good, but everyone loves a lemon meringue. A, a, a lemon meringue? Because, because he said you want to make sure you never run out of limes. No, I didn't. That wasn't even close to what I said. What was that about the dead? I'm so I'm sorry, I'm gonna come down. It, it's quite hard to hear you from up here. These men have chosen to join us as our allies. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting pretty hyped. This show is clearly building up to some crazy final arc, and this whole episode has just been building up to that. I feel like the next 10 or so episodes are gonna go absolutely ballistic. I look forward to this every year, General. This is sick, General. I fucking love this shit. <sighs> Wait, did you turn off again? Can someone please replace Al's batteries already? He's really starting to stress me out. Also, are we sure he didn't just learn how to sleep? Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe Al just figured out how to sleep, but he hasn't done it in so long that it's kind of freaking him out. <laughs> I smell him! That's him, all right! I smell the full metal alchemist brother, the little armored boy! Oh my god, hey Gluttony, haven't seen you in a while. Almost completely forgot about you, if I'm being honest. Why did they just leave Al in a boxcar, unattended? This is like a full-on assassination attempt, and no one's around. This sucks! What is this? What's happening? Oh my god, please get your shit together, Al. Why is this show acting like Pride and Gluttony had any hand in this attack? Neither of them really did anything. Al pretty much kicked his own ass. It's like bragging about winning a fight against a narcoleptic. Good evening. Mind if I intrude? Oh shit, hide your wives. Here comes Colonel Mustbang. Just to warn you, I'm gonna have time to take you out to dinner soon. So you're going to follow through on your threat after all, huh? I love that Mustang canonically has too many flowers. Like every time we see him now, he's trying to pawn these potted plants off to somebody. Your mansion is enormous. Very fitting for the Armstrong family. If you wanted to, you could hide an entire battalion in there. Damn, Mustang really knows the way to Olivier's heart. The funny thing is, I'm not even joking. I would totally buy it if she just leaned in and kissed him right now. Congratulations on heading the Armstrong family. They're hyacinths. They're the best he's got. Don't be too flattered. This guy's drowning in flora. Salim Bradley is a homunculus.
I want her to flip it over and it just says, also, we should smooch. This is beyond frustrating. I feel so helpless. Why don't we just accidentally blow up the tower Bradley's in? Please don't do that, sir. This poor guy in the back's just like, oh my god, what? Absolutely do not do that. General Grumman will invade Central under the pretense of stopping the terrorists. The general then plans to ally with Colonel Mustang amidst the chaos in order to take control of Central Command. Hey, fuck this guy. Who snitched? Why does this guy know every detail of this incredibly complicated plan? The engine just started moving without us. It did what? What the hell? Hey, stop them! Oh my god, crazy assassination attempt. That's sick. That's such a cool plan. Absolutely no chance it actually affected Bradley, though. Bradley's either completely fine, or the explosion turned him into his giant, horrifying humunculus form. This is it. Everything goes down tomorrow. It's do or die now. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I told you this show was about to get hype. Hey, anything for you, Riza. Even if it does mean deserting. Oh, man. There go our careers. Oh my god, Baby Hughes is alive, too! Things are finally looking up for Team Elric. Unfortunately, that probably means the next, like, 20 or so episodes are gonna be fucking devastating. Things don't tend to look up for very long in this show. Not for the good guys, at least. But that is episodes 45 and 46 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Once again, these are very, like, calm before the storm-esque episodes, um, with this one ending very definitively, like, hey, next episode's the storm. Which is very exciting. I'm super hyped to see what the next couple episodes have in store for us. As always, let me know in the comments what your favorite jokes from this video were. Uh, let me know what you thought of this video, what you thought of the episodes, and I will see you guys next time.